So you might be in a situation where for some reason your Android messages are taking a very, very long time to actually go through and send. Now this can happen for a few different reasons, but the main reason why this ends up happening is usually because your specific messages are either you're not in an area with good location and good service, or you're in an area where basically you just have no cell signal or your network is not good. And there's so many situations that can happen like this. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and go through and make your way over to your messages and you want to see which type of message you're sending. If you're sending a very, very large message, that can probably be the issue. If you're sending a bunch of photos and videos, that can probably cause the biggest amount of issues. So just make sure that's not the problem. But another thing too is make your way back into your you know, phone application. So go into settings. So make your way right into settings just like so. And what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and see these you know, network and internet and all these other options. What you want to do is you want to make sure you have some sort of cell signal and some sort of internet connection. Depending on your cell service, you may be able to send messages over Wi-Fi, but if not, you basically going to have to go through and either be on a really good cell service, and that will probably end up fixing the problem as well. Again, it's not a guarantee, but for a vast majority of people, that's another thing you can try doing. If that's still not working, you may want to make sure that person you're sending the message to even has a functional phone number. If their phone number, like if they gave you the wrong phone number, or if they changed the number, or whatever the case is, that can probably cause some issues on top of that. On top of that, another thing you can try doing is to go ahead and make your way over to your settings application one more time. Scroll down until you see system. Click on system update right there. And what you want to do, if there's a system update available, aka just a software update, go ahead and install this update. And that's another thing you can do to pretty much fix this problem as well. So those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.